Hi guys, this week I did a drawing of Bokoto and Akaashi from Haikyuu and the reason I did it is because the second season of Haikyuu is going to be premiering this week and I'm going to upload this maybe on Saturday so the first episode of season 2 comes around at that time and that's exciting. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me yet, you should because I update there a lot. But if you follow me on Instagram, you see that I'm really hyped for Haikyuu. I did another doodle and because a lot of the really good moments in Haikyuu were kind of not in Season 1. Like season 1 was really great, but Season 2 or later on is where it really got going with tournament and everything. So yeah, a lot of fans were really excited. Me too. And this drawing was pretty quick to color. Like the characters were really... The characters didn't have a lot of complex stuff going on. I just had a more difficult time in the background, which you'll see later on, because I randomly decided it'd be a good idea to color in owl wings. Why, Patty? Why? And a lot of the process is the same as what you see in a lot of videos. I tend to, I tend to color lighter first and then build up shadows because I know some people tend to start with the shadows first. I usually do, unless I'm like super sure I want one color for the shadow. Yes, yeah, so you can wait with the hair here and then I'll slightly build up the shadows, kind of blend back with the base color again and then do the darkest shadows. It's kind of just a back and forth process with the markers because like what I hear from a lot of my friends is they're kind of intimidated by markers. And it seems a bit difficult at first, especially the blending, the inks, but it's all about kind of coloring smoothly and doing these back and forth motions that help. Yeah, so here I'm starting to do the background already and what I'm doing here is the kind of the owl feathers are like flying down at the front. With the owl feathers I did the lighter base color first and then I kind of do the darker brown shades and then try to blend out the darker brown just so it doesn't look as harsh. I didn't have an exact brown for the owl wings that fit so I had to use a combination of grays and then some browns and also a bit of yellow just to kind of tie in with their jersey. The important thing to keep in mind is the direction of the feathers. It also helps if you have a reference so you don't have to like just guess from memory and earlier if you saw like a part of the footage got cut out, I'm not sure. I think my camera stopped recording somewhere in between. Sometimes it happens. I'm sorry, but it's not a lot and you still have the other wing to see. So yeah, sometimes I do the darker brown and I feel like if it's too dark, I'll blend it out with a gray or a beige. Then I'll add some yellow for the lighting. And then I'm just doing some kind of a gradient at the bottom. And then I'm adding lines to the wings I drew on because I felt like they didn't match well with the photo. And I wanted to have it a more anime look. And then just some of the background feathers that were flying in the background, but lighter and less contrasted to look further away. So yeah, that has been my Heike speaking. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my video. And if you have any comments and suggestions, I'd love to hear what you think. And if you watch Haikyuu, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think about the characters or season 2. And so that's it. Thanks for watching.